Welcome to the Transformative Activity Templates mini training. This training is designed for free and paid teachers who are already familiar with the Seesaw Activity Library basics, including how to create their own activity. Be sure to have another window or device ready to follow along with the steps. When technology redefines or makes previously inconceivable activities possible, learning is transformed. Seesaw activities do just that. They create transformational learning experiences. By the end of this video, you will be able to create activity templates with interactive movable pieces, templates that leverage video, and templates that support exploration and choice through Seesaw activities. Seesaw makes interactive activities possible. In my library, create a new activity. Fill out the title and instructions, then add a template for student responses. Use the upload tool to upload your background. Here, we've uploaded an illustration. Other ideas for backgrounds include photos, graphic organizers, or blank charts, graphs, and diagrams. By default, the file you upload to the canvas, your background, will be locked in place. You can add additional layers of photos, shapes, and labels that students will be able to move when you assign the activity. To add photos, click the camera icon, then upload. For this activity, we'll upload photos of characters that students can drag and move as they tell their story. Here they are. Students have a picture of a cat, a dog, and a pigeon to use when telling their story. You can also use shapes for students to move by clicking the three dots, then shapes, or add labels for students to move by clicking the T. Did you know you can copy and paste emojis into Seesaw labels? Here, we added a label, then copy and pasted an emoji of a backpack into the label. Pretty cool. Remember, these photos, shapes, and labels will be movable when you assign the activity. If you can move them when you're creating the template, students will be able to move them when they complete the activity. Here it is in action. Students drag and move the photos, shapes, and labels, but the background is locked in place. It's your turn to explore. Pause the video and create your own template with movable pieces. Another way to create multi-dimensional learning experiences is by leveraging video. Like you did before, create a new activity and click Add Template for Student Responses. You can either record a video in Seesaw or upload a file. In your video, you can explain directions, model the task, give a mini lesson, or whatever else your students need. The teacher here shows students how to do echo reading with a partner. By default, your video will be locked in place on the canvas. Unlock the video by clicking the three dots, then unlock. Use the move tool to drag the corners of the video to make room on the canvas for students to show their learning. Add shapes, labels, drawings, or photos to go with your video. Here, the teacher has added a task for students to complete after they watch her video. Keep in mind that at this time, you can only have one video on each page. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users, you can create multi-page templates. Add your video to page one, then add additional pages to give students even more space to complete the learning task. Whether your template is one page or multiple pages, each student will get a fresh copy to complete when you assign the activity. This strategy is an effective way to support blended and remote learning environments. Pause the video to try it out. With Seesaw Activity Templates, you can also support exploration and choice in new and exciting ways. Again, create a new activity and click Add Template for Student Responses. Upload your background. Here, we're uploading a background for a choice board. We added the yellow background and labels that describe options students have to show what they know. Now, you can also add links to the canvas. Add a link to any label, shape, or photo so students can access the resources they need to complete the activity. To best support exploration and choice, provide multiple options for outputs, like this. Free users have one page to create a template. We recommend splitting the page like this so students have enough room to show their learning. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for School users can create multi-page templates. You have more space to provide more options. Use page one for your choice board, then add additional pages to give students space to show their learning. Whether your template is one page or multiple pages, give students time to explore and create on their own. But make sure to plan time for students to come back together to share. Now, pause the video, 
and think of ways you can infuse exploration and choice into an upcoming lesson or unit. You might be wondering, how do I create template backgrounds like I've seen here? We have some tips. Google Slides is a popular tool to use to create backgrounds for Seesaw activity templates. The dimensions of a Google Slide fit really well on the Seesaw Canvas. Use shapes, text boxes, and more to create your template background. When you're done creating, download this slide as an image. Click File, Download, and choose JPEG. Keep in mind that your slide will download as a flat image. Pause now and create a template background in Google Slides. Thanks for learning with us today. Join us for more trainings at web.seesaw.me training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.